Hello everyone and welcome to the Henry Schein webinar series on YouTube. I'm Dr. Gary Severance and today I'm very pleased to be able to share with you the Henry Schein Practice Recovery Planner. This planner is a scenario simulator that uses your own practice data to estimate and then map out a plan to recover lost production. With just basic practice information and in less than 20 minutes, you'll be able to calculate the impact that this pandemic has had on your practice, estimate necessary schedule adjustments to recover production, and then calculate how small daily changes can have a tremendous impact on your recovery efforts. After you complete the planner, you'll immediately receive resources and solutions customized to your practice and your plan. Please know that this simulator is offered free of charge to all Henry Schein customers with no obligation or risk, other than offering an in-depth knowledge of your practice status and valuable insight and recommendations that you have formulated yourself. So let's take a walk through through the planner. If you'd like to follow along, go to www.henryshinedental.com slash recovery planner, or simply click the link in the description of this video. You'll find that the planner has easy to understand instructions that will guide you through the entire process. Step one, selecting your dates. The first thing we're going to do is identify when your office closed to routine care and when you plan to reopen. If you have already reopened, put in your actual reopen date. The calculations that are made based on these dates assume no vacations, holidays, or deviations. These dates will be used to calculate lost production as well as the amount of recovered production based upon your input. You may want to change these dates as you move through the planner to simulate opening earlier or later than you originally planned. You can easily navigate back to this page simply by clicking on the Calculate tab above. This flexibility allows you to consider what-if scenarios and choose the best option for you and your office. For this example, let's assume my office shut down on March 16th and we are reopening, or hoping to reopen, by June 1st. Now let's enter your production values. Enter in the average hygiene appointment values as well as the average hourly doctor production in the fields below. National averages have been pre-populated for reference, but the results will be more accurate if you use your actual department averages. For example, a 1.5 million clinician producing office working 3,000 hours would enter $500 in the average hourly production section, regardless of the number of clinicians contributing to those hours. The same logic applies to the hygiene department. Now enter your schedule prior to shutdown. The final step in this first section is to enter your schedule prior to the shutdown. For the hygiene column, be sure to enter the number of appointments on average completed each day. So for example, if on Monday you typically have two hygienists with seven appointments each, enter 14 in the hygiene visits column. For the doctor column, enter in the number of clinical production hours completed in a typical week. Most offices have some variety in the schedule, so do your best to enter information for an average week. For example, if you are a solo practitioner and work eight hours every other Friday, the best way to account for that is to record four hours on Friday under the doctor column. Today I will assume I have two full-time hygienists with me and work Monday through Thursday. Right away you will see the estimated loss of production impact due to closure in my office is calculated to be just over $215,000. Some of you may be thinking this number is a little less than you were anticipating, while others are concerned at how large the number appears. But before we panic, remember the point of this planner is to help you create a personal roadmap to recover this production and get to a better place. It is better to know this number and develop a realistic plan than it would be to not know this number and guess at solutions. Now that we know the number we are trying to recapture, it's time to start formulating a plan to recapture that lost production or take other steps to minimize the impact. To begin building your custom plan, first we need to simply fill out some basic information. I went ahead and filled out my information ahead of time and will quickly show you the steps I took. The contact information is completed so we know who to address and where to send results. 
practice information. Next, you'll answer some information about your practice, including the number of hygiene rooms, number of doctor treatment rooms, practice management software, and patient communication platform. This information helps Henry Schein customize solutions to best fit your practice. Lastly, to ensure your privacy, fill in your zip code and Henry Schein account number. You may know the account number as your SHIP2 or JDE number. It's a six-digit number and unique for each Henry Schein customer. If you have an invoice handy from Henry Schein, you can find it just after the ship sold to field. If not, and you don't know your customer number, simply call the customer service number on the screen or reach out to your local field sales consultant. Then click Verify to be able to proceed. The system will automatically verify your account with the zip code and JDE provided and in a few seconds allow you to move forward by clicking Next. If for some reason you get the notice Unknown Customer Number, please recheck the information provided, the zip code and the JDE, and if it still is not able to be confirmed through verification, call the customer service number listed below or reach out to your Henry Schein representative. Now that we know where we are, it's time to customize your solution for recovery. Adjust the values in the upcoming sections to find what works best for you and your practice. There are three sections to this stage of the planner. Schedule adjustments, procedure adjustments, and recommendations and resources designed to boost practice production. Having access to these solutions will allow you to work smarter and not just harder. As dentists, we often work harder and longer days just to gain an increase in production, but this may not be one of those times. Some dentists are planning on working more hours, while others are anticipating difficulty in having patients return immediately. In uncertain times like these, the more effective strategy is to schedule as wisely as possible and maximize your hourly production. This planner helps you do just that. Step 1. Schedule Adjustments The first section focuses on schedule adjustments. Enter the daily change in clinician hours or hygiene visits you are considering from your pre-pandemic schedule. These numbers can be positive if you anticipate increasing hours or personnel to accommodate additional patients, or negative if you expect to see decreased demand or availability. For this example, let's feel confident that I will have patients returning to my practice, and my goal is to recoup as much of the $215,000 loss as possible. So I am now considering opening on Fridays with myself and two hygienists. If we can fill our schedule on every Friday once we reopen for the rest of the year, our loss production from the shutdown reduces to $68,600. I am slowly building a plan to recover. Before we move on, I want to emphasize that you only need to enter the number of added or subtracted visits or hours, not the whole new schedule in its entirety. The system already knows your original schedule that you entered in the first page of the planner. So, for example, if you already entered that your current schedule provided 21 hygiene visits on Monday and you now anticipate offer, offering 14 visits, you would enter minus 7 in the Monday hygiene visit field, not 14. To share a quick story on how effective this planner is, I spoke to a dentist a couple of weeks ago and he was telling me their plan for reopening. They were taking into consideration social distancing and staggered the doctor's schedules. So the office was going to be open more hours, but the number of employees in the office at any time was limited. In theory, it sounded like a great approach. However, their collective minds changed considerably after entering their intended plan into this planner. The staggered hours significantly reduced the office's ability to increase production, and their projected loss was larger than they had expected or hoped. This planner helped them readjust their plan for reopening with confidence, and important metrics in mind. Once you adjust your schedule, you will see the estimated impact these changes have towards recovery. Adding hours is one way to increase production. The other is to be more profitable in the hours you work. This planner breaks your numbers down by department and calculates the hourly production increase needed to reach your break-even or desired result. Step 2. Procedure Adjustments this next section calculates the impact of adding common procedures on as production opportunities. Just a few additional procedures each week can have a profound impact on your production over the course of a year. As dental professionals, we are the only ones capable of making the diagnostic and treatment decisions that is best for our patients. 
but often daily routines or conservatism gets in the way and we may miss some opportunities that ultimately would allow us to provide better and more comprehensive dentistry, benefiting our practice and most importantly our patients. Or we fail to expand our clinical portfolio or procedures. So if you consider adding new procedures or just being on the lookout for a different mix, say taking more panoramics or XRL bite links, here you can see that if you only add one more pan per day, that is an increase of $28,000 in production over an entire year. If you commit to including and making team members aware of these additional procedures on a weekly basis, there could be a huge increase to your production. The planner will estimate how much to expect by the end of the year. Based upon the remaining time left this year, if we do one more pan a day, that is $17,850 in production by year end. It is worth having a morning huddle every morning to dis ensure these opportunities are considered and don't fall through the cracks. Most of us recognize morning huddles as an important meeting, but very few execute them effectively. Fortunately, in your custom plan, there is a great checklist on how to effectively hold a morning huddle, and it is just one of the many resources to consider in your customized plan. Step 3, Recovery Solutions. So far, the planner has focused on adjusting how much you work or by adding more procedures per week. However, we also need to emerge from this pandemic working smarter than ever before. That's why I really like this third step of the plan, which focuses on best practices in your office. The best long-term solution to boosting production is the adoption of proven methods and efficient workflows. The planner now walks us through eight areas of focus. Patient engagement, patient acquisition, team building and morning huddle, equipment and technology, case acceptance, insurance management and billing, expanding clinical offerings, and hygiene and soft tissue management. With each area of focus, you first want to indicate how critical it is for you to dedicate time or resources to each by clicking the appropriate button in the priority level section. You can select high if it is very important to you, intermediate if it is of medium importance, low if you know it should be addressed but isn't critical, or no focus needed. No focus needed doesn't mean the area isn't important. It might be very important, but if your team has achieved all your goals in the area, it wouldn't require any additional focus or resources. Next, select the method through which you plan to influence these areas. You'll indicate that in the implementation method area. You can accomplish great things through personal effort, but as a business owner, it often makes sense to delegate or invest strategically in outsourcing activities to achieve the results we want. Most of the time, it will require a combination of personal effort and delegation of some kind. So please choose all methods that apply. Take some time to really think about each area of focus. What you select here impacts the advice you get in the customized plan. And that's all the information you need to enter into the planner. We're ready to receive our results, so click Next. On this summary page, you will see the overall impact from all your decisions. Then it will summarize the adjustments you made to your plan. A couple of weeks ago, we hosted a webinar where Dr. Bobby Stanley discussed the incredible benefits of the Henry Schein practice analysis. If you missed that video or do not know what a practice analysis is, you can click the link in the description to see it now. The practice analysis identifies areas of opportunity within your practice and compares your production to your prescribed standard of care. And if you were not aware, we are offering the Henry Schein practice analysis at no charge during the presidential declaration of emergency. So again, a great opportunity for you to find out more about your practice. If you are like me, you want to see results. I'm about to give you a sneak peek of my results, but yours will obviously be different. You're working different hours, have a different team, and focus on different areas. So I'm going to recommend that if you have not done so already, as soon as this video is finished, click on the link in the description to start your own planner. Once you complete the planner and click Submit, you'll receive a PDF document of your customized plan. The plan will contain a summary of your entries and choices, of course, but more importantly, you will receive free recommendations and resources to start you on your way to mitigating the impact that the COVID shutdown has had on your practice. Each area of focus gives you some in-office do-it-yourself actions. 
For example, in regard to patient acquisition, there is a great guide for strengthening your internal marketing and asking patients for referrals. And if the do-it-yourself approach simply isn't right for you, we highlight many of the practice services Henry Schein Dental and our partners offer. So for instance, if you did not want to start asking for referrals on your own, consider outsourcing your marketing efforts to Henry Schein One and Office Site. Henry Schein has been a vital resource and partner to the dental profession for over 87 years. And as always, we thank you for relying on us to be the best dental professional you can be. I hope you find this planner valuable and you are excited to begin forecasting your future today. Try different scenarios for your best fit and results. Knowing where you are is vital before knowing where you are going. Try it out. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. Complete your planner and get your customized plan. Remember the site is www.henryshinedental.com slash recovery planner. And the link is also in the description below along with the link to the practice analysis. Thank you for taking the time to view this webinar. I hope you run through the planner and plan and achieve the best recovery possible. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future episodes, please let us know at webinars at henryshine.com. And please subscribe to the Henry Shine YouTube page by clicking the subscribe button below. As always, until we see you again, stay safe and stay informed especially about your practice using the Henry Schein Practice Recovery Planner and the Practice Analysis.